this week, Peter Andre was named Celebrity Dad of the Year after winning a public vote. He said, being a dad is my most important role. Ah. Oh, they didn't ah. Um, didn't Gordon Brown say something very similar as he left Downing Street? Our next big question, are fathers as important as mothers? Well, Oliver James, psychologist, you've just released another book on parenting, but you're a dad, most importantly. Dad to boy and a girl under 10. Are you any less important than their mum? Well, I mean, like the vast majority of families, you know, um, you know, the mother is much more important than, than, than the father in the early years. Most babies are born with total potential. They really know what it takes to be a baby. Uh, they live in the present. The great challenge for us as parents is to tune into them and really respond to them in the way that they need. And mothers have different approaches. You know, they can be huggers that put the needs of the baby first, or they can be organisers who gen generally try and get the baby to adapt to them. And, or they may be flexi mums, a mixture of the two. Whichever one it is, where the father comes in, is whether he's actually going to be concordant with that and support the mother in her approach in the early years. And yes, she is important there. I mean, I interviewed about 50 mothers and one of them uh, was trying to be a hugger and was trying to meet the needs of her child and was on holiday and their 18 month old was everyone was saying oh leave her leave the 18 month old with a complete stranger to be put to bed she was saying no i'm not happy with that but her husband wasn't supporting her so at the but early years the husband be... needs to be supported well there are two things there one does it have to be that the mother is the most important one in in the early years Absolutely and also not. let's look over the, the length of a childhood no, we, we know clearly that uh, from studies of lesbian couples that it's absolutely irrelevant whether the, whether the, the, the two people are both male. I'm sorry, female. <laughs> one is female, one male. Uh, it doesn't matter That's about not that. True. I'm sorry. I, I think that, that I'm sorry, is not okay. question let, about Hang on, just a minute. Let me just let sorry, Oliver there is finish very this good point. There's scientific evidence then... that there is that a longitudinal studies which have been followed through where lesbian, children of lesbians turn out just as well as anybody else. The point is, the key point is that uh, obviously one parent is not as good as two. That is absolutely clearly the case and obviously as the as the child gets older I do think where there has been a great exaggeration is the idea that you need a male role model for a boy as I say the lesbian studies show that's just not necessary at all there's no they're no more likely to turn out gay if they're a child of a lesbian they're no more likely to turn out in any way unmasculine uh, so and, and of course some fathers are very bad for children so if you have a uh, a thug for a father good prospective longitudinal studies show that uh, you, you are much less likely to turn out to be a thug if your dad leaves the home when you're young. Whereas if your father stays and he's a thug, you are more likely to turn out a thug. So some fathers are actually bad for their sons. OK. Um, Frederick Clark, the, the role modelling, Oliver says, much overstated. You're um, the father of two, grown up now. But... They are grown up. I don't think it's overstated. I, I like the argument you said. I do think that fathers are important at the early stage of, of a child. I think that children, dads and children do understand about the warmth, the, the uh, feeling, the em emotional aspects. So fathers can give that at a younger age. I un hear what you said about regards to same-sex relationships, but I think also that fathers can have this supportive role which children see from a young age, and they see the, uh, uh, the mum and the dad communicating and, and uh, showing uh, love between each other, showing how to resolve conflicts, and all these things that the, children, the child will actually learn at a very young age. A father would also show the child how to uh, show the girl child probably what is love because we get mistaken between love and sex. I think this, this, in this country we're actually too focused, too much focused on sex rather than relationships. And it's about relationships. You can't have really have a really good sexual relationship unless you've got a good f f uh, personal, emotional, loving relationship. And I think we need to focus on that more so. But Oliver still seems to be saying. <laughs> That the father's role is important, but secondary, not as important. Um, I don't think. I think that, from my experience of being a dad, I think that if a father is there from the beginning, mum feels it's almost like a waiting to exhale film. When the mum's there, they go. <sighs> So when they go like that, the child can feel it, the, the, um, the home atmosphere is different, the child knows that it's in a, in a loving, caring relationship. So I think when both of them together, as you, was, as you rightly said, they, it supports the family. It's also less of a burden on society, you know, if the child uh, and fathers are not there, it, it can cause a, a, a financial burden on mums. So if fathers are there, I think they can do, it can actually reduce some of this spending that we're talking about in society and bring the families up. I think last part, I say, but the role models on TV do actually portray 
negative stereotypes and does cause young people who haven't got a role model to follow to jump into something like maybe gangs or maybe um, being abusive because they see it on TV, they think, well, there's always a way out. And it's a good cliffhanger on, on TV programs. But we're all right because we've got Peter Andre now. So you're fine. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, Adrian Bur Burgess from the Fatherhood Institute, would you agree well, that actually it doesn't matter about the, being the man or the it's, father? It's two, absolutely, two women yeah, it's absolutely plain that children can be raised in many different ways very successfully. So two gay males can also raise children very well, two lesbian mothers and so on, right? That's absolutely true. So they're not essential. Mothers aren't essential I'm, either. I'm afraid mothers I don't are agree not it's absolutely true. Mothers okay, are not, I'm, a, I'm just looking at the research that Oliver knows too. Um, however, the lesbian mother's research is very flawed, Oliver, because it compares lesbian mothers with all other pa pa parents, whereas lesbian mothers have chosen to be parents. And when we have chosen, and this is the same with heterosexual couples, we've worked it through, we know what we want to do, that's where the good start in life comes. Now, um, children, the, you know, it's really interesting that you talked about the fact that you said if fathers are bad, they're better out of the way. Well, of course, if fathers are bad, in lots of ways, you actually argued against yourself. Because the truth is that, of course, if fathers are bad, they have a very profound influence on children. Mm -hmm. They have an influence, right? And if mothers are bad, they also have a very profound influence yeah. on children. Mm -hmm. So what we need to be doing, which we don't do right now, is to look at the bad dads and really try to help them to be the best dads they can be, the way we already do with mothers. <laughs> but what is, what in your view is the particular, I know you want to come in on this, Bishop Michael, but what is the particular value of a good dad? Right, the good father doesn't have to be a great sportsman, for example, <laughs> bringing masculine stuff into the household. There are many great fathers who are very artistic and gentle, and interestingly, those men, tend to have sons who are very high in masculinity. When it's safe to identify with your dad, it's easy to grow up to be a good man. And if you're confident about who you are, you don't need to worry about uh, trying to prove that you're a man. You can just relax because you know what the role is, you know how to That's be protective, right. you know how to be strong, you because know how to be loving. you're respected by another man. You are, yeah. and it's also, I remember someone talking about hugging. Men, um, if you hug when you're young, your child, they can feel that warmth. It, it, any newborn child, and you, a father hugs him, he can feel that, that, that relationship, that bond developing. So children know that. And one of the things I'm really pleased about my dad, I thank, really thank God for him, is that one of the things with him, he was always there for me. And even though he's working all the time, he's always out, I knew that he was doing it for me. I didn't know, I, didn't, I just knew that he was there always working for my benefit and for our, and benefit of my sisters and my brothers. So. so do you still see quite that quite traditional rule then that the man is the breadwinner? No, I didn't say that. No, no, I'm just, no, I'm just asking. <laughs> I think that it's a relationship. Every single couple has a different sort of background, have a different sort of um, issues that affect them. Let them come together, talk, work out what's best for each other, work out what's, how the family can benef best benefit. And that's the most important thing. It's about communication. Oh, could we move over, Peter Andre, and give the best dad? <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. You're facially up there. Uh, Bishop, I'm going to come yes. back to you because I know you were trying to get. Thank you. Um, well, I think the question's been posed in the wrong way, to be honest. It's not a question of uh, who is more important. Um, the mother and the father are both important. But I mean, is the father uh, as important? Is the the father is important in a different way. This is the point that needs to be made. There is a complementarity, necessary complementarity between the parents. I mean, all the research is showing James Herzog at Harvard, um, Ross Parks in America, the Civitas people here, that fathers relate to their children in a different way from the mothers, a different way. They bond with their children in a different way. This is why you need parents of both sexes uh, and not simply uh, two parents of the, of the same sex. Uh, 